Are these new items game changers? Let's get it. Well, hey guys, uh, we are back in Bristol, and uh, we are. We made it out alive, from North Carolina. So we got some new food items today that we're going to try out. But first, we are on TikTok. Doing yes. it within the first few minutes of the video, so you know that we're on TikTok. Go follow us on there. We're also on Rumble, and uh, yeah, on YouTube. So hit the like, comment, subscribe. Do it right at the beginning. Game changer, <laughs> game changer. So oh my goodness, I'm gonna forget about the other stuff by the time we get in. The end, I'm like, hit the share button, by the way, too. Oh, it's over there. That's the uh, yeah. <laughs> so just, just giving you a heads up at the beginning of the video. So you you do it right now. Take your time. Do it right now. Stop the video. Hit pause. What, where's pause. Is pause here? It's somewhere in, it's in the center. No, it's well. I mean, I guess if you hit it, then on your phone it'll be oh. in the center. But if you're on computers down here, no. Oh. Yeah. So okay. Hit pause. We'll see. Wait. Okay. Did you hit like, comment, subscribe? If you didn't do it, go back and do it again. Yeah, do it again. So make sure yeah. that the thumbs lit up. Okay. So what are we doing today? <laughs> All right. So we got uh, two places that had some new items that we're going to try out, and uh, one of them's one of my things we should do is that one because that's the, probably the one's getting coldest first. Yeah, and, and the one I'm one. dreading the most. Yeah. So I'm not dreading it, but it's, I'm it's definitely dreading it. Maybe a little bit. The reason why is we're doing. Do they put names on their bags? I don't know. All right. I'm supposed to. Here, here's receipt <laughs> Sonic. There you go. Yeah, Sonic. So Sonic has a new. I actually got two, four, four burgers because there's two new burgers. Oh in there. my goodness, he's yeah. getting fancy on me. That's on the back, very back of the sides. What are the new burgers? Well, don't mention them to the people until we get pull them out. Oh, okay. well, I, I just wanted to sure, see what they were. Got to make sure one of them's got the right stuff on it too. That'd be yours. What is it? Did I get the wrong thing? I think I did. I got you the wrong thing. So oh gosh. I'll try one of the burgers and. Is that one of the? I think, I think all these are yours. <laughs> what the heck? Did they? Did they give me that? I think they got it wrong. They did. Yep, they did. They got it wrong. Yep. They were supposed to put without cheese on on yours. Yeah, they did not. And they didn't. All right, I guess I'll be trying this. Yeah, out. I guess they'll be trying them. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll try this one first because it's the one I dread the worst. Yeah, I guess you can just watch me. Try yeah, it. I'm gonna. Or you can try one of the. The fries because it's not got any. This one have the this one have the sauce on it. Did they put the sauce on any of them? Oh, they yeah. did. Okay, so I want I want to try. Yeah, it. that's got the the dill pickle sauce on yeah, it. Yeah, I'll so. try it with the dill pickle sauce here. This is what is the burger called? The Big Dilly Cheeseburger, only available on the app and online until what the second? Did it say? Well, I know it's available on the second. Yeah, but only online and on the app and like 
and I think it's going to be in store on the second. If yeah. people, I guess, respond to this thing. So they have these fries individually, apparently. But I think that's only in stores when it comes out. I didn't see them on the menu. They got them in individually also? Yeah, they'll have just fries. Hmm. And they're actually pretty good. Because the ones they had before, that's why I was dreading it. Was because the ones they had before that were in like the chip version were nasty. They were awful. Um, if you like a burger with a lot of pickle... I'm actually digging the pickle, pickle part. It's pretty good. That's it. If you don't like pickle, which hopefully is helping me with cramps. Yeah. I have a lot of cramps here lately. Get some of that dill sauce. Yeah, if you don't like pickle, you're not going to like this burger. Yeah, if you don't like pickle. That'd be stupid to order it if you didn't like pickle, though. I guess technically you could try. I don't know, they got cheese mashed on those too. Yeah, I can worry about Well, you know what the burger itself tastes like, yeah. a burger. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Is it pretty good? It's not, it's pretty good. It's got pickle fries and dill pickles, chips on top. Yeah, You're getting so you double get, whammy to pickle. Yeah, and if you get the normal way, he get it, get it without the dill pickle sauce. You get dilly pickle ranch. ranch. Mm -hmm. Which, I did taste the dill even on that. So if you like dill pickle. I'm actually really hungry, so I'm like chowing down on this thing. But Yeah, if you like dill pickle flavor, it's, it, this is it. Because it, that's all you taste, really. The burger don't even, can't even hardly taste the burger. Yeah. Well, it's good to see, though, that you see you had something you were dreading, and you actually kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good. So the other thing is, like, This is the uh, bacon. double bacon, yeah. I'm just going to look at it. I'm not going to It's got pickle, bake. is that like a bacon sauce, or is that just like a barbecue sauce? I guess it's bacon sauce or bacon flavored jam or something. Oh, yeah, I've heard something about yeah, them having, like, bacon flavored jam. Yeah. With well, quite a bit of bacon. Yeah, there's a two patties and cheese. Yeah, that's a which sandwich. was supposed to be off of his. And I knew I should have checked before I left, but I didn't. I was kind of in a rush because I woke up very late today. I did he not did. want to get up. He woke up like two and a half hours after I, I did. <laughs> I didn't go to bed till very late last night. <laughs> I was sitting there like, well, I'm just gonna watch TV. There's enough cheese on that. Look at that. There's two slices of cheese. Yeah, they packed the cheese on here. The burgers are, the patties are very thin, for, but that's Sonic, I guess. The bacon yeah. does shine. Kind of hard not to, I guess. Yeah, no, it's about, the bacon's about this thick. I guess that bacon jam is okay. You taste any, like, extraness to it. It's just sweet. It's just like a sweet flavor to it. But the onions are carrying through, too. Yeah. Yeah, it has onions on it. I've seen little pieces of onions. It's got pickles, of course. Yeah. But the bacon does shine. They're... I say with both these burgers, they're hitting what they're supposed to. Yeah. The pickle flavor and the bacon flavor. I guess while you're finishing that up, I'm going to try something I could try by myself. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna eat this burger while you're trying that. So, Papa John's has Papa John's has a new pizza that's called the pepperoni and cheese stuffed crust, which I've seen somebody do pepperoni and cheese it's stuffed little crust Caesars. before. Yeah, Little Caesars does that. But I've done it for a while too. But uh, I don't want to say they're copying, but it does seem a little sus. But I feel like that. Uh, their stuffed crust is different than Little Caesars. It doesn't taste anything like Little Caesars stuffed crust. Well, of course not. So, is it going to be a better pepperoni inside this crust? Or is, is Little Caesars still going to be better than that? Because I, I really love Little Caesars See, people, crust. people give Little Caesars a hard time because they're cheap, cheap yeah. products on a pizza that's kind of on the cheap side. 
but for value and for taste, it's okay. It's not bad. It's a quick, yeah. good pizza. Now, is it the best pizza in the world? No. Absolutely not. But for the price and the taste, you can't you can't beat it. It's it like most time they got it ready and pretty quick. Oh my goodness, one of them's hanging on. But besides that. And this is what I have. And I want to say they innovate quite a bit, too. They do. They always have this stuff way before everybody else does. Yeah. And then they, they're like Taco Bell. They change their menu. Like that calzone thing was awesome. I don't know why they keep taking it away. I don't know. It was good. Like, they're like Taco Bell. They might be owned by the same company. I don't Maybe. Know. <laughs> but anyway, also being offered by the Papa John's is these, they're called pepperoni, spicy pepperoni rolls, which are little, it's like they're jalapeno poppers that they have, but they have jalapenos and pepperoni inside there with some, it looks like normal mozzarella. The jalapeno poppers have cream cheese on the inside. So this looks like just so normal. Like a jalapeno popper then, right? So basically, well their jalapeno poppers are like this, but they have cream cheese oh. and like a jalapeno popper. This is just like mozzarella. <laughs> it's basically like I little confused. garlic knots. With with with, um, with pepperoni, pepperoni and, and pe yeah. So is that a spicy garlic sauce? You get a too? spicy garlic sauce with it, mm. which I like their spi spicy garlic sauce. It is tasty. Is that new? It's not. No, I've it's had not. It for a while, hmm. but Well, it's all right. <laughs> it's, One it's, of the best thing. It's drier than British comedy. And that came way after the burgers did. That burger actually tastes a lot better fresh than I thought it was going to be. It's like warmer. And this is this is new. There's nothing, nothing wrong with the age. It's still warm. Yeah. It's just the, with the ingredients and even if you add some, I think it needs some marinara. Instead of the spicy, yeah, yeah. I mean, it adds a little bit of flavor, but you need a marinara. But maybe both. No, it would be great. Just drizzle that over top and then put it dip mm -hmm. in the marinara. Yeah. It's like chewing on leather, though. Nah. I mean, it's just so dry. You just need some some extra sauce on there. Probably should have shook that garlic butter up before you opened it up because it's. Oh yeah, that's like shake yeah. there. It added a little, a little bit little, more texture to it. Yeah, a little flavor. Well, the thickness it would have thickened up. Yeah. Here we go. We'll just we'll just dump this all over there. Give them time to saturate. Try it after we get done eating the pizza. And then after I get done eating the pizza, I'll just take <laughs> see it if it's smooth it moistened up a little yeah. bit. If I can close the box. Apparently, I don't know how. It's a different type of box than they. It's use a little baby. It's a little baby pizza box. It's kind of weird. Okay, so now on to the start of the show, which I thought by the picture that this was just automatically going to be pepperoni. Yeah. But it's a create your own thing. I'll see. It could be whatever. You can do whatever. whatever to it's it's actually free to put one topping on it. Oh, okay. So it doesn't cost you any more money. So it's, instead of pepperoni, because I was like, well, if I can put anything on there. I put some salami. Okay, then they just want me over right there. <laughs> That's what I usually put on my pizza. <laughs> I, I had, okay behind the scenes story when i went to germany they we ordered a, from italian place they did not have pepperoni they instead had salami and i tried it on my pizza there and it was amazing so ever since if a pizza place has salami i put that on my pizza instead of pepperoni actually unless it's a real strong spicy pepperoni i would prefer salami anyway i, I would it's got a better flavor it has more all right, changed my mind, but um, my favorite thing about Papa John's, which is not here, is the little green packets. That's the best thing about. Oh Papa yeah, that John's. seasoning. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't give us none of that. You have, sometimes have to order it. Sometimes I'll throw one in for free, but I always order me a couple just on the safe side. But that's the best part of Papa John's. But we're not here to really try the pizza. I'm gonna just eat it anyway because I always eat the stuffed crust part last. Look, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it's like something's around my ankles. It's a badger. <laughs> but I'm going to eat the main part and then get to the, because I always eat the crust last. I'm sorry, if you start crust first, you're a psycho. 
Well, they were. Wasn't Pizza Hut? Didn't they have that? Yeah, like that and they were psychos for even starting that. See, salami. It's just a thicker. And you feel like you're getting something there, you know? That flavor just is way better. Yeah, I like the flavor better than pepperoni. Now, every now and then I get like a really good spicy pepperoni, and I'll be like, yeah, that's good pepperoni. But salami is like pepperoni's better older cousin. Yeah. All right, I'm to the crust. All right. So the main thing here, they did put some like little seasoning around on the crust. I guess it's a garlic seasoning. But is this, does this change the flavor of a normal plain old stuffed crust? Would you just rather have a stuffed crust? That's my main thing. Well, I've already got my opinion. I mean, it just tastes like stuffed crust pizza. Man. Yeah, I'm getting a very slight hint of, of pepperoni. I mean, it's very slight. It's there. I see it. Yeah. But the cheese overpowers it. Yeah. It does protect the cheese. See, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a thing that gets me about the ordering stuffed crust pizza. I don't you always eat it all, and then I want to microwave it the next day. If I microwave it for too long accidentally... You got that brown, crusty chunkiness in there. Yeah. What this might do is protect the cheese. Protect the cheese some by by the fat content of the pepperoni. It's just it, it seems like the pepperoni's not thick enough. It's not flavorful enough for it to actually shine. I just taste cheese. I almost feel like it's, it'd be more in my head than it is. Yeah. The cheese overpowers it, and it's just a mozzarella flavor that's all it is i mean i don't taste a lot of crust flavor there's not a lot of, maybe the one i had didn't have a lot of seasoning on it yeah i didn't taste it i don't even know if it like has like a it's parmesan and something like it's not strong no yeah and i'm not hating on pop john's here because pop john's no, a decent pizza. good pizza i mean it's not bad and i would eat this pizza but I don't think the pepperoni is worth putting it in there. Yeah, I feel like just get a regular stuffed crust. It's not adding mu enough to justify the pep the pepperoni price. Like, because I'm guessing this would be more expensive than. Regular I did not crust. look, but I think it is like a dollar more. So I don't. I just say get a stuffed crust pizza yeah, and be stuffed crust. Good enough. Yeah. I mean, just not enough changed is the problem. It's now if they would have done this is missing my thing because Little Caesars did this too. But Little Caesar when they brought that. Or that um, calzone pizza, yeah. they had those bits of yeah, pepperoni. Now, pepperoni. if they would have put that in there, well, there's more bite. It, it would have been a, a world of difference. I agree. I agree. Or even a different. Everybody's so pepperoni obsessed when it comes to pizza. Why don't, why don't we do bacon? Bacon, my. But it's got to be some, like I said, chunks of bacon to get that flavor. Because yeah. that cheese is strong. Yeah. Well, it depends on how thick cut your bacon is. <laughs> you put yeah. some pretty decent thick cut bacon I in. I guess. It add flavor but i mean it is and it's mozzarella which is actually not a very strong cheese and it's still overpowered yeah, overpowered that pepperoni pepperoni i just don't taste any pepperoni in there i know it's there i see it uh i mean if i do it's it's very slight yeah it's just not warranted enough for me to say yeah this is worth a 15 dollars and 40 all right b get out of here that's a big one too that's a man eater that's carry kids off yeah uh, I just don't warrant it that fifteen dollars and fourteen cents price that it's carrying when I can just go to Little Caesars and get a stuffed crust with pepperoni. Yeah, Cause I think they still got it. They may not. I don't know, but it was cheaper. I think it was like nine, ten dollars. Yeah, it can't be much. So Papa John's is a little bit more pricey, and I, their pizza's okay, but. Uh, I just don't think this is, I think this is gimmicky, and it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it was good pizza, don't get me wrong. It tasted good, it's just I don't think the pepperoni warranted in the crust. No. It just it doesn't have enough flavor. 
And they have to have a thicker or stronger pepperoni. Especially if you put a lot of toppings on that pizza, by the time you get to the crust, you're a little disappointed. Yeah. Because the real winner for me was the salami on the pizza. Yeah. Because I love stuffed crust pizza. I like the stuffed crust. Yeah. But I wanted something special. I, I did too. I want something different. A little, a little spark there, but I'm disappointed. But hey, I will say Sonic's Dilly, one of the Dilly Big Dilly big, cheeseburger. Big dilly. I won me over. I I was scared about that one. <laughs> I was like, man, it's gonna be weird. But I mean, it tastes like pickles. They they hit the mark. I mean, it was better than the the bake, bacon on bacon burger. So I mean, it and, was and decent that's, too. And that's bacon. Yeah. Well, I mean, how you beat bacon? So. Pickles, apparently. <laughs> if you like pickles, that's what to go with. Did you try your jalapeno pot to see if it's soaked oh, in? Oh, golly, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to forget. Um, if it don't, then it needs marinara. This one looks pretty good. No, yeah, saturated and covered. Smothered and covered. Better. Mm -hmm. Soaked in. Yeah, it's juicy. Okay. So yeah, I guess uh, make sure you shake your packet, dump it all over, let it soak for a little bit, eat you a slice of pizza, then go back to that and yeah, give it give it some time to marinate. Yeah, because it definitely needs a little bit of uh, juiciness to sit for a second and yeah, I absorb. It just tastes like bread with pepperonis and cheese in it. Yeah. So hey, that's uh, that's the new items for this week. Tell them about the merchandise. Teespring.com backslash stores backslash southern dash DNA. Help us out, support the channel. Um, you know, go over there and give us some money for some shirts and other stuff. And, yeah. And we can continue to do this stuff. I know we've said it for like three years to continue and we continue to do it. And A lot of times we squeeze by. <laughs> yeah, some months I'm just like, what can we do for really, really, really cheap? Yeah. So if you guys could please help. Just subscribing. If you can get friends to subscribe, and you guys, that would be a that boost huge us help. to a thousand subscribers will help us yeah. a whole lot. Once we hit that thousand mark, things will change for us, and then we'll, we can be able to grow faster. We can start making money off of the videos, and we can do more things and go more places. And actually, you know, it's hard. Gas prices. Gas are prices high. is expensive right now. Yeah, uh, it's hard to go out and do things. And I know we hear, we see your comments. We 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 know where you want us to go. We have plans to go to some of those places. I will say the Ridgewood comment. We've been, both of us have had Ridgewood. If you lived in Bristol in this Tri-Cities area and you've not had Ridgewood, you're probably something wrong with you. Yeah. So, and it's hard to get on a Saturday. They're always jam-packed, you know. So, it's, well, we haven't done Ridgewood. We tried to do it once when we did the barbecue month thing. Yeah, and some, they wouldn't answer. They wouldn't answer the phone. I called like eight times and they wouldn't answer the phone. And it was like lunchtime or I think it was actually either right after or before lunchtime so they just didn't answer they're really busy i get it they're a small location they always packed i mean there's a line out the door when you when you're going there that's why we just haven't done a video on them yeah they got good barbecue but if you've lived here you've ate there yeah so that's kind of the thing that's why we haven't done it and we, we've seen all the other comments like in king sport we're going to try to go out there and do those videos we need your support yeah <laughs> we gas money <laughs> we, so we, it's money, expensive. money don't grow on them trees back there. Because yeah. if it did, we'd be rich. So we need your support. Help us out. You know, just a simple like and share, yep. and subscribe. You know, that's all we need. It's all. I mean, that's free. That yeah, costs you don't nothing. Cost you nothing. So, so tell your friends about us. Get people involved. Follow us on TikTok. Word. You know, that's free too. You know, if you buy one shirt and you wear it around, people are probably going to ask you, Where what's, you got what's that, that shirt? shirt? Yeah. You know, what does that shirt mean? So. so Help us out. Support the channel. If you like the channel. If you don't, then just... Why, you're why probably you not watching this, so <laughs> exactly. it don't matter. But uh, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Let's get it.